And just like that, uploaded a brand new video on my TikTok account. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your guy Anthony, back with another video, and today is such a beautiful day outside. It's 95 degrees out, and we haven't had this weather this high in the last couple of weeks. Hope you guys are doing well, I am having a great day. Not just a great day, but I've had a great weekend. Why is that? Because I've been working on some great stuff on my TikTok account, and I've gotta tell you, I've seen so many great results on my TikTok account, and I'm gonna keep grinding on there, and same with my YouTube channel. And by the way, thank you so much for getting me over 3,000 views on my last video I just posted, and I'll be posting a lot more videos on my channel. This entire year, I think I've made maybe seven to eight videos on my channel, and my latest video that I posted was my only best one. I'm not saying that all my other videos are not gonna do too great, but I'm gonna keep trying and pushing until I reach my goal and see where things end up for me. But guys, you have no idea how many great results I've seen on both my TikTok and my YouTube account. By that, it just only motivates me to keep going and I won't stop. I'm looking forward to making some great content for you guys and it's gonna be amazing. And I can't wait for you all to see that. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, I post it there weekly and actually, I'll be posting a lot more on there now. Instead of weekly, I'll be posting on there every day. So stay tuned for that. So I wanna go back to Thursday evening. I posted this video called Eight Year Old Me Sees a Mini Fridge at a Hotel. So that video I posted on Thursday, it got me over 20,000 views. And it's funny because I posted another video on Saturday, uh, past couple days. And right now, that video ended up at 100,000 views. Can you believe that guys? My very first viral video, on my channel to surpass over 100,000 views. And my goal for the summer is to get a video at a million views. But the only problem is the algorithm on TikTok keeps changing and that's an issue. With that, like that's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna keep going. And a lot is evolving on the app, so that's not gonna stop me from moving forward. Now, why did I start posting more on TikTok? Well, I'll tell you why. I started off at, hmm, I think at 950 subscribers on Thursday. Now I'm all the way up to 2,500 subscribers. I gotta tell you, that gave me a huge boost on my TikTok account. And plus, I've been watching a couple videos on YouTube on how to grow my TikTok account, and I follow some great advice, what to post, when to post, what kind of hashtags to use, all that other stuff. And like I said, that's given me a little boost for my channel. I'm actually heading out to the carnival pretty soon. I'm going there to get a pizza free. And for those of you who don't know, it's literally a funnel cake, but an Italian style funnel cake. And those are always the best, especially during this time of year. I almost took a picture of myself. I hit the wrong button on my camera. So I just got to my local park right now. I'll be taking a walk around the track because the weather's so nice out. And yes, I'll be posting every Tuesday and Friday on my YouTube channel. When I made my comeback back in December, I was still contemplating what kind of schedule I wanted to have for my channel and it was still undecided. But now, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I do have a confirmed video schedule. Also this Friday coming up, I do plan on making another story time video for you guys. And you know what, since my first story time video did pretty well, I'm gonna keep going with that. I do have a couple stories I wanna share. Maybe each Friday for the next couple of weeks, there'll be more story time videos. Guys, I almost forgot to say this, but <laughs> there is a good amount of people here right now. And I'll be honest, it is a little intimidating that I'm walking around talking to a camera by myself but this is something I'm gonna just have to start getting used to, and so be it. People look at me, it's, that's their own problem, and they do not realize that I am making progress. But I am curious to know this. Let me know in the comments down below if you do feel the same way I do right now. All right, I just stopped at this little bridge for a second, and I gotta be honest, it smells like shit. That's where the carnival is taking place, and I'll be heading out there pretty soon. I didn't bring my Canon 90D with me because that's too big to lug around with me, and I have my Sony ZV-1 camera with me right now. It's the perfect camera to bring with me right now. I'm on my way to the carnival right now to get my pizza frites. I went there on Friday of last week, and it was all right, but it was the first time that I went to a large event after the pandemic. When I was much younger, the carnivals used to be much better, but now they're just not that great. Whenever I go there, only go there for the food. They're not as bad, but most stuff over there is, is overpriced. It's no surprise really because any carnival you go to really, it's always expensive. To add insult to injury, all the games that you play, complete ripoff. It's funny that I mentioned that because I just made a TikTok video of uh, recreating of when I went to a carnival booth and I was playing one of the games and I didn't, I didn't win anything. Somebody in the comments wrote that I should make a TikTok of me actually winning the grand prize and the carny refusing to give it to me. So I just uploaded that today 
as a response to the guy's comment. That was a fun TikTok to make. In my future TikToks, if anyone has any requests, I will be responding to them, but not all of them, but I will respond to a few of them. So that's gonna be fun. But one thing I do wish that could start happening is I have the Q&A function publicly listed on my TikTok page and no one has left me a question. I'm assuming once I get a larger following on TikTok, then people will start to leave questions on my page. I just walked by an art store by my town and I saw some pretty cool paintings here, so I had to show it on camera. Guys, it's secured. Okay guys, I'm leaving it right now. So many people here on a Monday night. No surprise because it is summer, so. So when I went there, I saw my cousin working at one of the booths. He was selling beer and other drinks and another friend of mine that I haven't seen in a couple years. So, and uh, since I bought a pizza free, it's $3 for one. I got one for free, so I got two. Okay, I made it back home. Like I just mentioned, my cousin worked at the booth. He was selling drinks and he was working right next to the pizza free stand. So I got, I got hooked up nice. Not to mention, I also got a free shotgun tool. White Claw Hard Seltzer. It has been so hot out today and I am sweating. But this whole week coming up, it's supposed to be in the 90s. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, buddy, come on. We have to go check out. Oh, hold on, I got something. $150 for Toy Story in 4K? Joey, what did I just say? Guys, that was a close look of what it looks like for filming my TikTok videos, and I just finished making four of them. So every day until I get a million views on one of my videos, I will be posting every day on TikTok. So make sure you follow me right now. All right, I have to get out of here so I can edit the TikTok videos. If you're new, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications whenever I post a new video, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.